Hey guys, so for today's Fashion Friday, I'm going to be showing you six of my current favorite shoes. When I've talked about vegan fashion or eco fashion or ethical fashion before, I think some people have had a hard time understanding that you can very rarely check all of those boxes. So what I've tried to do is bring you a array of price points. Some are from specifically vegan brands, some are ones that you can like easily find, others are from eco or ethical websites, so these shoes might not all be all of those things, but I've tried to show you an array so that hopefully you will find something that fits your kind of ethos. So I'm going to start with the pair that's closest to me. I got these in the vegan section of lulus.com. So they're a nude high heel booty with a peep toe and they're entirely man-made material so no animal involvement whatsoever. I did get caught in the rain in these the other night so they have taken a little bit of a beating already but they are super comfortable. I think they look great with a lot of different things, with jeans, with a skirt, with shorts. Um, they just go with so many different items and I love them. Um, the size I got was a seven and a half, I think. Um, and I would say they're pretty true to size, so they do fit really well. And I just love them. I think that this is an awesome shoe if you're someone who likes the idea of high heels but has a hard time with them. This is really comfortable and it's gonna go with a ton of different things. So um, I've definitely been loving this one. So this is another pair from the vegan section of Lulu's. These are a kind of goth cowboy low booty is what I'm calling them. It has a slightly chunky kind of Cuban style heel, I guess, a slightly pointed toe, and then this really pretty detailing around here. I just love how it looks. Lots of designer brands also make a shoe that looks exactly like this, but obviously this isn't made of animal and it's a lot cheaper. So um, again, I would wear these with shorts. I would wear them with pants in the winter. I would wear it with like a really pretty dress. I just think this is another shoe that you're gonna get a ton of use out of. And so far, the shoes I've had from Lulu seem very well made. So um, I've been really pleased with that. And I got these in a size eight because I figured there was a chance that I might wanna wear like a low sock in there in the winter. So this next pair of sandals is from a website called Bead and Real. They're amazing. You can search by very specific things. So you can search by vegan, you could search by female owned, you could search by recycled materials, by like zero carbon footprint. And I picked these ones up. These are from the brand Indosol. So this is a vegan shoe and then the base of it is made from recycled tires, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, when I showed Adam, he was like, oh, they're such and such and knew exactly what type of tire it was. So. Just a very simple um, black strappy flat, really comfortable, don't really feel like you've got anything on your foot. And again, they're gonna go with everything. So I'm really glad I picked these up and I'm definitely gonna keep looking at their site because it's definitely a company that I would love to support. So if I find any other goodies from them, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And I got these in a seven. Um, I generally buy things that I'm not gonna wear socks with in like, a seven, seven and a half, and then anything I wanna wear socks with, I get an eight, so these were a seven. This next pair you've probably seen before, but I wanted to mention it because they are a shoe you can easily find um, in most places. So they are a <laughs> fake white Birkenstock um, from Target. So they're from uh, Mossimo at Target. I got these a year ago on clearance, I think, but I would imagine they would have something similar. You just need to make sure it's the non-leather version. These aren't obviously classified as vegan because they've not sought out any kind of certification, but the leather is not leather, it's plastic. And they're obviously a really good price point, easy to find, and they've lasted me, I think, a couple years already, so doing pretty well. Oh, and what size? I think that these were a seven also, but I think that the um, it's all rubbed off. But I'm pretty sure it was a seven. These next ones, you guys have definitely seen before. They are my Matt and Nat White Bonaventure sneaker. Matt and Nat are a vegan brand, so they are um, certified as vegan. And the little thing on the inside says, Matt and Nat, no animals were hurt making this shoe. So it's just a faux leather white sneaker. These are in a size eight because I did want to make sure I could possibly wear a sock with it. Um, very chunky. I will say 
if you just bought them wear them with socks because i wore these in the uk without socks forgetting how much i walk when i'm there and i had some of the most horrific blisters i think i've ever had luckily they didn't last very long um and with socks they are absolutely fine so definitely break them in wearing socks and if you're going any long distances wear socks with them too but i just love this shoe i think it's going to be something that's going to last really well it's going to look good forever because when doesn't a white sneaker look good yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so yeah love these definitely a much higher price point but if you are looking to just buy a few pieces that you know are going to last a really long time and look good with everything i think it's a great investment um, and they are coming out with, I think, a full line. So keep an eye out for that. And I will be sure to post about it to remind you guys too. So yeah, vegan brand, great shoe. So this next shoe is a Gel Fit Sana from, is it Asics? Is that what, how you say it? I don't know, Asics. Um, just a simple training shoe, very light, no need for a sock if you don't want to. And obviously I've had a lot of wear out of these. I wear these hiking to walk the dogs. Anytime I just want to have a super comfortable shoe that I know I can rely on and isn't going to get uncomfortable, this is it. It really weighs nothing. So not a vegan shoe because they're not labelled as such, but they are not leather. So if you are looking for a non-leather sneaker, it's a great one. So that's it for this video. Hopefully I covered enough different kind of topics or things that people kind of base their purchases on so that you could all find something that you liked. Everything will be linked down there along with my social media. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.